सो वेरी गुड इवनिंग आई एम डॉक्टर सत्यव्रत साहु एम डी डी एम क्लिनिकल फार्माकोलॉजिस्ट एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ फार्माकोथेरापी इन न्यूनेट्स एंड पेडेटिक पॉपुलेशन सो कमिंग टू इंट्रोडक्शन देर आर डिफरेंसेस इन फिजियोलॉजी इन पेडिएट्रिक पॉपुलेशन कम्पेयर विथ एडल्ट एंड दैट इन्फ्लुएंस द कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ ड्रग विद इन द प्लाज्मा और द टिश्यू एंड पेडिएट्रिक पॉपुलेशन इंक्लूड्स प्री टर्म एंड टर्म न्यूनेट्स जीरो टू ट्वेंटी सेवन डेज इन्फेंट्स एंड टोटलर्स ट्वेंटी एट डेज टू ट्वेंटी थ्री मंथ्स चिल्ड्रेन टू इयर्स टू इलेवेन ईयर्स एडोलेसेंट्स टुएल्व ईयर्स टू सेवेंटीन ईयर्स एंड देर इज पार्शियली डिफरेंट फ्रम दे आर पार्शियली डिफरेंट फ्रम आडर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू फार्मा कैंडी फार्मा डायनमिक प्रोफाइल देन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ पेडिएट्रिक पेशेंट्स पेडिएट्रिक पेशेंट्स लेस दैन एटीन ईयर्स ऑफ एज ऑनलाइन कैन एडल्ट पेशेंट ए पेडिएट्रिक पेशेंट्स एज कैन भी एक्सप्रेस इन डेज उइक्स मंथ्स एंड इयर्स पेशेंट्स आर क्लासिफाइड बेस्ट ऑन एज एंड मे भी फर्दर डिस्क्राइब बेस्ट ऑन अदर फैक्टर्स इंक्लूडिंग बर्थ वेट एंड प्री मैच्यूरिटी स्टाटस ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट चिल्ड्रेन आर मॉनिटर्ड फॉर फिजिकल मोटर कॉग्निटिव एंड साइकोसोशियल डेवलपमेंट थ्रू क्लिनिकल रिकग्निशन द सेंटर्स फॉर डिजीज कंट्रोल एंड प्रिवेंशन सी डी सी ग्रोथ चार्ट्स आर यूज टू प्लॉट हेड सर्कम्फेरेन्स वेट लेंथ और स्टैचर एंड बडी मास इंडेक्स फॉर ए ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ ए चाइल्ड ग्रोथ कम्पेयर टू द जेनेल पेडियाट्रिक पपुलेसन Coming to differences in vital signs, normal values for heart rate and respiratory rate vary. Heart rates are highest in neonates and infants, ranging from 95 to 180 beats per minute, and decrease with age, <coughs> reaching adult rates 60 to 100 beats per minute around 10 years of age. Respiratory rates are also higher in neonates and infants, 24 to 38 beats per minute, decreasing with age to adult rates around 15 years of age, 12 to 20 beats per minute. The American Academy of Pediatrics (AAP) recommends rectal temperature measurement in children four years of age or younger using a digital thermometer. For children four years of age or older, axillary and oral temperature measurement is appropriate as the child is more able to cooperate when asked. Then coming to fluid requirements. Fluid requirement and balance are important to monitor in pediatric patients, especially in premature neonates and infants. Maintenance fluid requirement can be calculated based on body surface area for patients greater than 10 kg with a range of 1500 to 2000 ml per meter square per day. However, a weight based method of determining normal maintenance fluid for children is often used. This is the table showing maintenance fluid calculations by body weight. Patient body weight less than 10 kg maintenance fluid requirement 100 ml per kg per day. Patient body weight 11 to 20 kg maintenance fluid requirement 1000 ml plus 50 ml per kg over 10 kg patient body weight greater than 20 kg maintenance fluid requirement 1500 ml plus 20 ml per kg over 20 kg then effects of pharmacodynamic pharmacodynamic differences on drug therapy drug selection strategy may be similar or different depending on age and disease state pediatric patients may require the use of different medications from those used in adults for example phenobarbital cause neonatal using neonatal seizures but not often used for treatment of seizures in adults there also exists commonalities between pediatric and adult patients such as therapeutic serum drug concentrations required to treat certain diseases for example gentamicin peak and trough serum concentration needed to treat gram negative pneumonia are the same in children as in adults the appropriate selection and dosing of drug therapy for a pediatric patient depends on specific factors such as age weight height disease being treated comorbidities organ function and available drug dosage forms equations proposed to calculate pediatric doses based on adjusted age or weight such as clark's priors or young's rule should not be routinely used to calculate pediatric doses because they account for only one factor of difference age or weight and lack integration of the effect of growth and development on drug pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics in this population coming to absorption oral absorption may be reduced in premature infants and neonates due to differences in gastric acid secretion and pancreatic and biliary function full term neonates have a gastric ph of 6 to 8 at birth and ph 1 to 2 1 to 3 by 48 hours of age 
Gastric acid output per kilogram is lower in premature infants and increases with age to other levels by 6 months of age. Low gastric acid secretion leads to increased serum concentration of weak bases and acid labile medications such as penicillin and decreased serum concentrations of weak acid medications such as phenobarbital. Additionally, gastric emptying time and intestinal transit time are delayed in premature infants. Pancreatic exocrine and biliary function are also reduced in newborns. Topical or percutaneous absorption in units and infants is increased due to a thinner stratum corneum. Application of topical medication should be limited to the smallest amount possible. Intramuscular absorption in premature and full term infants can be erratic. Rectal absorption can also be erratic and is not a commonly recommended route of administration if there are other routes available e.g. oral. This route is useful in uh, cases of severe nausea, vomiting or status epilepticus. Uh, bioavailability increases as the blood supply bypasses the liver from the lower rectum directly to uh, the inferior vena cava. Availability of rectal dosage forms varies with acetaminophen suppositories and diazepam gel as examples of medications used by the rectal route in pediatric patients. Coming to volume of distribution, in pediatric patients, apparent volume of distribution VD is normalized based on body weight and expressed as liter per kg. Neonates and infants have a lower normal range for serum albumin 2 to 4 gram per dl, 20 to 40 gram per liter, reaching adult levels after one year of age. This affects highly protein bound drugs such as phenytoin, resulting in lower total serum concentrations needed to achieve therapeutic unbound serum concentrations. As premature neonates have lower body adipose composition compared to older children and adults they have a decreased bd volume of distribution for lipid soluble drugs such as midazolam and require lower doses by body weight coming to metabolism drug metabolism is slower at birth in full term infants compared to adolescents and adults with further delay in premature units phase 1 reactions and enzymes such as oxidation and alcohol dehydrogenase are impaired in premature units and infants. Glucuronidation by the uridine diphosphate glucuronyl transferases on the other hand is immature in units and infants. Adverse effects including cyanosis, ash, grey color of the uh, skin, lymph body tone and uh, hypotension also known as grey baby syndrome with use of chloramphenicol. Products containing benzyl alcohol or benzoic acid should be avoided in units due to uh, immature glycine conjugation resulting in accumulation of benzoic acid. Acetylation via N acetyl transference uh, reaches adult maturation at around one year of life. Coming to elimination, renal drug clearance is reduced in infants and slowest in premature neonates. Glomerular filtration at GFR is lowest in premature neonates. For example, vancomycin 18 to 24 year hours. In a low birth weight LBW premature neonate, every 6 hours in children with normal renal function and every 8 to 12 hours in adult patients with normal renal function. Children with cystic fibrosis also present with greater renal clearance of drugs such as aminoglycosides. The use of the Cockcroft Gold or Jelly P equations for estimating CR cell creatinine clearance in adults is not recommended for patients less than 18 years of age. Schwartz equation is a common method of estimating pediatric CR cell creatine clearance for LBW low birth weight infants up to 21 years of age. Urine output is also a parameter used to assess renal function in pe pediatric patients with a urine output of greater than 1 to 2 ml per kg per hour considered normal. This is the table showing the Estimation of creatine current CRCL in pediatric patients up to 21 years of age and uh, CRCL is equal to K into L by serum creatine. Uh, age according to age R value differs low birth weight less than equal to 1 year of age 0 0.33 full term less than equal to 1 year of age 0 0.45 uh, 2 to 12 years male or female or uh, 13 to 21 years female 0 0.55 uh, then 13 to 21 years male are uh, equal to 0 0.70. K is proportionality constant. L is equal to length in cm. SC is serum creatine mg per dl. mg per dl. Then CRCL creatine clearance in ml per minute per 1.73 meter square. 
then specific considerations in drug therapy in addition to differences in pharmacokinetic pharmacodynamic parameters other factors including dosage formulations medication administration techniques and parent oblique caregiver education should be considered when selecting drug therapy then come to routes of administration and drug formulation depending on age disease and disease severity different routes of administration may be considered when oral drug therapy is needed one must also consider the type of dosage form available most hospitals caring for pediatric patients compound formulations in their inpatient pharmacy a list of community pharmacies with compounding capabilities should be maintained and provided to the parents and caregivers before discharge from the hospital common errors in pediatric drug therapy prevention of errors in pediatric drug therapy begins with identification of possible sources decimal errors the use of the rule of 6 was previously used to calculate infusions and of medications such as inotropes for critically ill patients in hospitals prevention of medication errors in a joint effort between healthcare professionals and parents oblique caregivers CAM and OTC medication use an estimated 31% to 84% of children with cancer, 74% with autism spectrum disorder, 71% with asthma, and 15% seen in the emergency department utilize CAM uh, complementary alternative medication or other OTC over the counter products. It is critical to realize that it is critical to realize that there are limited data establishing efficacy of various complementary alternative. medication cam therapy in children example colic symptoms of excessive crying usually improve by the third month of life and often resolve by nine months of age no medication has been approved by the fda for this condition this condition is self limiting and infants will outgrow it uh, as they age clinicians should respect parents oblique caregivers beliefs in use of cam complementary alternative medication and OTC over the counter products and encourage a discussion with the intention of providing information regarding their risks and benefits to achieve desired health outcomes as well as optimize medication safety off label medication use pharmacotherapy in pediatric patients often includes use of approved and unapproved unapproved means off label drugs this includes the use of a medication in the treatment of illness not listed on the manufacturer's package insert such of label use in infants and children is frequently based on limited data currently there is a lack of pediatric dosing safety and efficacy information for over 75 percentage of drugs approved in adults of label use occurs in both outpatient and inpatient settings about 80 percentage of hospitalized pediatric patients receive at least one of label medication fda regulatory changes such as Uh, patent exclusivity provide incentives for a pharmaceutical manufacturer to market drugs for pediatric patients then medication administration to pediatric patients and caregiver education considering the challenges in, co- in cooperation from infants and younger children medication administration can become a difficult task for any parent or caregiver the means or devices for measuring and administering medications by the caregivers should also be closely considered oral syringes are accurate and offered at most community pharmacies for measurement of oral liquid medications oral droppers comprehensive and clear parent oblique caregiver education improves medication adherence safety and therapeutic outcomes coming to summary there are less clinical trials in pediatric population especially neonates and infants due to ethical issues there is not much data published of label use of drugs in pediatric population increasing day by day pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic profile varies pediatric physicians should prescribe rationally for benefit of patients pediatric populations should be included more and more in clinical trials for rational treatment in future and these are my references you can go through these references if you want to learn more and more about this topic and that's all for today please like subscribe and watch my channel and watch the video till the end so that you can learn lots of things from my channel from these videos and if you want more to learn then you can go through articles published uh, in in good journals and also the guidelines about all these topics about all the management of diseases and drugs 
used according to the guideline you can follow the guidelines and you can increase your knowledge more and more that's all for today and next session i will discuss on different topic that's all thank you very much jai jagannath